Hey, what's happening guys? This is Bharat Nagpal for Igandad and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a first quick look at the new budget OnePlus X, the company's second phone in the past six months. Let's check it out. So this is the box of the OnePlus X. It's Fairly simplistic, a new style of packaging for OnePlus this year, even with the OnePlus 2 and now with the OnePlus X. It's a very Apple style pull up from the top sort of box. I'm going to quickly cut through using my trusty old knife. I'm going to cut through. The phone has been launched in India for a price of 16999 for the Onyx aka glass variant and this is the Onyx variant. And we'll be unboxing the ceramic variant later on this month. So you can stay tuned for that. So the first thing inside the box is the OnePlus X. I'm going to put it to the side uh, for the time being. And uh, really high quality packaging over here. Uh, you've got uh, the screen protectors on top of the device. If I go further in, you'll see that inside uh, this little nicely packed part of the box is an included case for the back of the device, which is great because it is a glass phone. So a back protector is nice. And also a SIM removal tool is included. You can see the back cover has a matte sort of finish, uh, so that'll look nice. It'll almost look like the screen protector that is currently on the OnePlus X at the moment. If I go further in, I'll see some documentation. You have a quick start guide over here, and then you have a user guide, a full-fledged user guide. So that's fantastic. Inside the box, you'll also get a USB wall charger. Now this is quite identical to the one seen in the box of the OnePlus 2. And then you have a cable. Now, for those who've been confused in the past, uh, the OnePlus X does not have a USB Type-C. It has a micro USB type port, so therefore you get a micro USB cable. Uh, these are nice. It has been gold plated, so that's a good thing. It is a flat style cable, the traditional OnePlus style uh, cable with gold plated tips for the USB side and the micro USB side. So that is everything from the box. Let's go on ahead and take a quick look at the device itself. So this everyone is the OnePlus X. Uh, let me quickly get rid of the packaging over at the front as well as this packaging and a screen protector sort of thing over at the back. So over at the front you have a front facing camera which is a 8 megapixel camera which is fantastic for a secondary camera. Uh, below that you have a 5 inch 1920 by 1080p AMOLED capacitive screen uh, which means that this is the first time uh, OnePlus is using an AMOLED display. The display is curved over at the sides, so it feels nice. It curves into the overall frame of the device. You also get Corning and Gorilla Glass 3 over at the front to protect the display. Now over at the bottom of the display, you will see three touch capacitive buttons. Now you can also use on-screen buttons and I'll demonstrate that later. Over at the bottom of the device is the speakerphone as well as the microphone and the micro USB charging and data syncing port. You'll also start to notice the metal frame that goes along the side and has these beautiful chamfered edges. You also have little tiny ribs running across uh, the side to give it additional grip and it works really well. You can also see the antenna bands on the bottom. Over on the right side you have the main power lock and unlock button along with the volume rockers and you also have a SIM tray which doubles up as a micro SD card tray. So you can use one SIM card and a micro SD card or you can use two SIM cards. Over at the top, you'll see a secondary noise cancelling microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the left is the notification toggle, which will allow you to customize uh, and choose between three levels of notifications, namely completely off, priority notifications and all notifications. Over at the back is the 13 megapixel camera along with uh, 1080p video recording capability. It also has an LED flash and you'll also see the OnePlus logo. Now over at the back is also a glass back panel which is fixed on the device so it's not removable or changeable and uh, it also apparently has Gorilla Glass 3. Now the device runs on a 25 25 milliamp hour battery uh, which seems to be sufficient because the whole phone runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 which is a quad core 2.3 gigahertz chipset. You also get the Adreno 330 GPU for graphics, three gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabyte of onboard storage, the micro SD card slot, 
can support up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card, which is fantastic. Now the front is overly fingerprint friendly. In fact, even the back is very fingerprint friendly. Uh, once you turn on the device, you'll reach something called the OnePlus setup where you'll be able to customize things like turn on the software buttons. So if you want on-screen buttons, you can turn them on here. You can also enable some of the OnePlus features, including double tap to wake, open the camera with an O, toggle the flashlight with a V when the phone is off. You can also choose uh, between the Swift key and emoji keyboard or the Google keyboard uh, right here in the setup. You can also enable or not enable shelf uh, directly from the OnePlus setup access, uh, which is great. So if you don't want shelf on the left of the screen, uh, you can basically turn it off when you're turning on the device for the first time. So shelf sits on the left of the device and it basically shows your frequent contacts, frequent apps, and a basic information on the weather of the location that you're in, which comes up over at the top. Now the OnePlus X is running Android Lollipop out of the box and a quick Oxygen OS update uh, will be available to you the minute you start up your device. So it's recommended that you download that update because it includes a bunch of bug fixes. Now the UI is really fast and responsive and uh, the Qualcomm 801 has been a good chipset. It's a fairly dated chipset and belongs to 2014, but right now on the OnePlus X, it seems like a promising option considering the price that the OnePlus X is available at. So the camera does shoot 13 megapixel pictures, actually slightly lesser than 13 megapixels. And you also get uh, the new included camera options, including beauty mode, HDR mode, and clear image mode. Now it's a pity that the device will only capture 1080p video because at this price bracket, if the device would have done 4K video, it would have been a phenomenal device. The device feels exceptionally premium in the hand and looks really, really good. Uh, the glass on the back makes the device look exceptionally premium. The chamfered edges on the metal frame along with the ribbed feel of the device uh, makes it really fantastic to hold in the hand. Now it's a good sized device, it's only 5 inches, so most people will be able to use this device with one hand, which is becoming more and more of a problem nowadays with bigger size phones. Now we'll be taking the OnePlus X through the paces and we'll be testing it out through and through. So if you have any questions or queries, do drop them in the comment section below. Uh, do check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash This has been Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching.